Hi guys, this is Ruth Edwards, aka Brownie, coming again to you guys live from Manhattan, New York, with another makeup tutorial. I've already moisturized my face with my Clean and Clear face moisturizer. These are the tools that I will be using. I don't want to forget. This is number X089A, and this is the Matte Elite Wine Stardust by Ricky's. On the front it says me. And this is the 3 grams. My NYC Concealer. Like always, my NYC concealer. You guys know I love my NYC concealer. I've been trying to upload the video I did from yesterday, but unfortunately, my YouTube is acting up. I think I should shoot this video on my laptop. That would be better uploading. But it will get there eventually. This is 783A Natural. NYC it's NYC concealer. I love NYC. I love 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 NYC. Of course, my foundation. It's the Maybelline Dream Foam, and this is 370 Cocoa. And oh, 370 Cocoa. And this is 4 grams. 46 grams. Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam. Mascara. I love NYC. This is NYC. This is NYC. NYC City Curls. NYC City Curls. And this is a number 845... 845 Extreme Black. My eyelash curler, which is from NYC. My eyeliner I will be using today is also from Ricky's. This has no number on it, but it's a gray. I hope you guys can see it. It's a gray. It's Ricky's eyeliner. It has no... Number on it. My eyeshadow brush that I couldn't find yesterday that I was laying down on. Eyeshadow. These brushes that I will be using are from Prevail. You can buy them at any Dwayne and Reed or or Rite Aid or Ricky's Prevail. They're very good. They they're sustainable. Um okay guys, now I'm going to get started with my Maybelline Instant Age Renewal primer. And it it's a gel, so 
I, you don't have to use too much of this. This is how much I will be using. It comes out. You also want to make sure that you apply some down on your neck because you want to make sure that your face matches your neck. So, my skin is now super soft. It feels like a baby's butt. Now that I've applied my primer. Okay, now I'm ready to apply my concealer. So I'm going to go to my NYC concealer. Over the eyelids. Under the eyelids. My Y. You guys know I'm a big fan of the Y. This is my concealer over the eye. I'm going to use my finger first and rub in my concealer. Then I'm going to use my brush. I'm going to use just the tip of my finger, not hard, just lightly. And rub in my concealer to my closed eyelid to make sure that the darker spots that comes under the eye and over the eye Given nice allows me to get a more even more even tone when I'm applying my foundation especially to the acne
Okay, so now I will use my blush brush and blend it out. In a circular motion, I'm going to make sure that it's blended out underneath my eye, my closed eyelid, the forehead, everywhere that you apply concealer. I'm going to make sure that it's blended out so in a circular motion you don't have to be too abrasive. So now as you can see, my concealer is completely blended out. There's no white spots. Can't even see it. So I've not applied my concealer. Now it's time for my favorite part, the foundation. Yes. Okay, so I'll be applying the foundation. I'll be applying my foundation. This is enough. Oh guys, you know what I forgot? I forgot my tissue. So now it's time to apply my foundation. Work on the cheeks. I'm working out my foundation in a circular motion. You want to scrunch your forehead and make sure you get those marks working in really well. Then the cheek, you want to smile and get in those really well. Work it out, circle motion.
Okay, so I'm applying my foundation to my entire face. You don't want to neglect the corners of your eye. So I've completely applied my foundation as you can see. But you don't want to neglect the neck. So now we'll go down to work on the neck. In a circular motion, everything I do is in a circular motion. Especially since you want that nice blended in perfect finish. Now I've also done the neck. You want to go from the neck from the ears down. So now I'm going to move on to my eyebrow brush. Brushing comb. I'm brushing vertically. Now I'm combing horizontally. Now I'm brushing, brushing horizontally. And I'm combing vertically. Okay. Now, I'll be using some tissue and getting off the access, the access, the access foundation that I have on. You just want to pat lightly to get off the access. You don't want to vigorously be vigorous to your face, so you just want to pat lightly. I'm doing the right hand side now. Now I'm doing the neck. Mm, around the lips. Over the eyes, under the eyes. Now I'll be curling my eyelashes with my eyelash curler. My eyelash curler NYC. I love NYC. Color my eyelashes. Okay, now I've curled my eyelashes. Okay, so I've curled my eyelashes. Now I will be applying some more concealer to my eyelids before applying my eye makeup. Back to my NYC concealer. I'll be applying it to over my eyelid. 
under my eyelid, over my eyelid, under my eyelid, and around my lips. And I will take my blush brush and blend it in in a circular motion. To my closed eyelid, I'm blending out the concealer and the under that I put underneath my eye and over my eye with a closed. And then I will blend out the concealer around my lips to define a natural lip line. And then I'm going to put more of my finger. A little more of my finger to make sure it's completely blended out. Okay, now that I've applied more concealer and made sure it's completely blended out. I will be now applying my eyeliner from Mickey's Allergies Eyeliner. I will now be applying my Mickey's Eyeliner and you want to just tap this to make sure that it's not too much. The concealer. I want to make sure that the brush is nice and juicy. For the application. I'm gonna go from the crease straight across and any you get on your eyelash you just wanna wipe that off because you don't want it there when you put on your mascara I'm gonna make sure that it's flat
Oh, I'm so you dry off your eyelashes. And you want to go under the eyelid. From the crease, straight across, making sure that you don't, making sure that you don't get it on your eyelashes. I'm gonna clean up any mistakes so that is the perfect desired line I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side start from under the eye the crease again on the other side So now you have the achieved, now you've achieved the line. I'm going to blend it out, work it out. Then you want to clean up any mistakes. Or you can simply use your concealer and cover over any mistakes. And you want to, again, use your fingers and take out the eyeliner from your eyelashes. I will also use my eyelash brush and comb out any unwanted mascara eyeliner off my eyelashes. So, I'm not using a mirror, I usually am. It's a little more difficult.
I'm gonna use your brush and define the line by blending out the mistakes. Okay, now we'll be applying my Ricky Stardust eyeshadow. This is like a tattooed eyeshadow, so you need a, a oil base remover to remove it after it's applied. This eyeshadow is semi-permanent. Now we use the eyeliner and the eyeshadow is semi-permanent, so now we'll use my eyeshadow and apply my eyeshadow to the middle of my closed eyelid. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Only to the middle of my closed eyelid. Do the same thing the other side. I'm working it out only to the middle of my closed eyelid. I'm going to clean up any imperfections with a clean finger. So now I am done. It's now time for the lipstick. I'm going to take your blush brush and just... Work it out a little bit. Just spread in it. A little bit more to the middle of the island. And you want to take any unwanted eyeshadow off your eyelashes. So leave them clean for the application of for the application of the the application of So again, I will curl my eyelashes one more time with my eyelash curler. And brush my eyebrows one more time. You always want to keep brushing your eyebrows. 
because you know your eyebrows always move horizontally and vertically especially if you have thick eyebrows like mine that just allows them to stay you know the way you want them to now we apply my mascara for each application you want to make sure that you want to make sure that your your brush is freshly dipped and you want to roll the brush round while you're applying the mascara I redid the brush for my other eyelash. You want to roll the brush outwards while applying it. We dip the brush. Roll the brush while applying the mascara to get an even application and reducing clumping. Now I will apply my mascara. Okay, so now pretty much done with that. The last thing is you want to rehydrate the face. So I use one pump of the Clean and Clear. And I'll rub it and I'll dab, 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 dab. Da 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 Okay, now I've rehydrated my entire face. Now you wanna dot 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 dot
to wipe off any excess of your hands, like so. The tissue should look like this with your makeup on it, not like completely saturated because you're just tapping. You're not, you're just tapping, you're not rubbing off. So this allows your face to look more hydrated. As you can see, my face is completely hydrated. And then to apply the lip gloss of your choice. Or a lipstick. I will be applying lipstick. I will be applying lipstick. This is Ricky's lipstick. And this is deep. When applying your lipstick, you want to make sure that your lips are oval like this. Now you want to take off any excess lipstick. And this is my full face of makeup, guys. It's been so nice doing this editorial with you guys. And they go by the window to get some window light and give you guys a better view. This is my full face. Oh, I got some smudges. See? Not the best lighting. Full face. Makeup editorial. Hey, it's been nice. Again, this is Ruth Edwards, aka Brownie. Coming to you guys from Harlem, New York. This is the view outside. It's pretty nice. And it's a rainy day. It's Sunday. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be... Uh, you guys have been requesting the video of me curling my hair. My bundle weave that I just installed for the second time. I washed my hair and deconditioned the weave. And... I installed half a bundle more so it's a lot more thicker than it was initially so this is the side view this is the back view 
This is the other side view. This is the front. I did my invisible part a little different this time instead of laying the tracks smaller and inward outward. I laid I laid them just straight across. So I put the U and then one track here, one track there, one track here, and one two tracks here. And this is the pink ombre. So I'm gonna curl it up with you guys on video. So stay tuned for my next video. Have a blessed day.